the world's most dangerous countries in 2024. So, the first most dangerous country is Afghanistan. The third most dangerous country is Syria. The ninth most dangerous country is Ukraine. And the eleventh most dangerous country is Iraq. You're probably thinking, what the heck? Is black men a traveller searching for the 20th most dangerous countries in the world? Well, unfortunately, I've got a problem. <laughs> I'm actually going to go to the third most dangerous country, which is Syria. And the ninth most dangerous country, Somalia. And the 11th most dangerous country, which is Iraq. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. What's going on, guys? It's Black Man the Traveller. And it's Mini Black Man the Traveller. Guys, you guys are wondering why is this video stopped. Basically, my daughter wants to say something. What do you want to say? Huh? If you guys want to see us continue to make interesting family videos or travel around the world, please donate uh. whatever you can. Uh. The link is in the description. Okay. In my PayPal or in my Patron. Uh. What are you waiting for? Go in the link and donate whatever you can. See you soon. We've got a video to make. Say so, ciao. Fuck. Right now, there's a lot of instability going on in the world. The Middle East is feeling a lot of pressure on what's happening. Pressure. People thinking, what do you mean pressure? You mean war? Yeah. Pressure from the big West countries because of what's happening between the proxy wars with Syria and other countries. But the problem is, it's dangerous. That's what people say. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be that dangerous for black men to travel to go there and to film. Who knows? I am going to be going there. And I'm going to show you in this video the date the month and the year to show you that what's really happening and that I am going there during the war. The question is, is it going to be safe for black men to travel to go there? I think it is. I don't really follow mainstream media. But let's see what happens. Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden down here against the USS Kearney drew a lot of attention. Integrated air defense from that ship shot the drones and the missiles down that were coming out of Yemen. That's important, but the range from there to Israel is pretty far, and it's, they don't have a great missile force, let's put it that way. But the other things that were occurring are... So, there's airstrikes in Syria, and there's airstrikes in Iraq. Black man, the traveller. What are you doing? Why are you going to go to the Middle East? Why are you going to go film there? Now... Guys are probably thinking, why is Black Man the Traveller going to the Middle East? Have you seen my phone, love? Uh, your phone? No? Do you have a phone? Mine, let's see. Oh. Guys, I'm not going to film my wife because obviously she's feeding my daughter. But I'm going to change the camera this direction. It is the 27th of January, 4.15. So, hola. I'm going to show you my daughter quickly. It's a bit of a mess, the house, but she's eating food. <gasps> Say hola! And you can see a white hand feeding a mixed face baby. <laughs> right, so you're probably thinking, black man a traveler, what are you doing? Why are you getting to the Middle East? Come on, seriously? During the war? Guys, you know what? I'm actually gonna be spending, I'm actually gonna be spending um, three weeks in this region. The reason why, I've never been there before apart from going to Dubai. And Dubai is a bit too mainstream for me. Attacks in US military in the Middle East stoke fear of a regional war. Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Palestine, Syria, Iraq. Damn. And out of all those countries, I'm actually going to Iraq, going to Syria, and I will be going to Lebanon as well. So, it's 2024, the 27th of January. My plan is to go there and to show people that the Middle East might be dangerous, but to show people the hospitality, the food, the culture, the history, the religion, and also maybe the nightlife in some of these countries. Who knows? Some people think that the Middle East is a, is a place where we shouldn't go. It's a place full of wars, full of poverty, full of terrorism. But I hope my videos are going to change people's perspective. 
Now, I am going to be going to the Middle East during the war. There is a war going on right now between Israel and uh, Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Uh, there is a war going on as well in Syria, in certain parts of Syria. It's been happening for the last 12 years. And there might be a war that might probably kick off in Lebanon, which I am going to. And there might be a war kicking off in Iraq, which I am going to. So, the plan is, is to go to Lebanon, explore, understand the people, understand the culture, and hopefully I won't get bombarded with air bombs dropping while I'm filming, inshallah. And hopefully, uh, when I go to Iraq, I'm going to show you guys the, the food, the history, the culture and the level of hospitality that Iraq has as well. And also, not something interesting. There are black Iraqis that live in Iraq. Not a lot of people know that. Uh, they came from East Africa um, during the slave area when the Arabs took certain Africans to become the slaves or merchants. So I will be filming the African community in Iraq. And in Yemen, I will be traveling around and understanding the history. Uh, no, sorry, not Yemen, uh, the history of, um, of Syria of how the war has been affected and to try the food and the nightlife and also to explore the country and to show the cultures um, that Syria has to offer. So the plan is to go to these countries, change people's perspective about the Middle East. Will it work? I don't know. Will I survive? I don't know. Will I get killed in the air bomb? Inshallah I won't. But the most important thing is to show you guys that I'm going to the Middle East and it's not going to be quite stable. Many people say to me, Amir, you should avoid the Middle East. You should go to, if, if, if you go to the Middle East, go to Dubai. Go, go to Dubai or go to Oman or go to Korea and just chill and enjoy or go to Saudi for Umrah. But I want to go to certain countries that have been affected. The reason why is because I think these countries have got more to offer. Not just for content-wise, but in terms of to understand the people a bit more. That's why I began to the Middle East. Um, it is only going to be for three weeks and I will be going to Somalia. So join me. In this crazy adventure, um, I'm posting this video tomorrow on a Sunday, but I will be there, inshallah, next week. I'm not going to tell you what day, but inshallah, I'll be there next week in the Middle East. So people are going to say, black man, you're a nutter. But it is what it is. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed the videos um, that I've been putting out. But I don't know what else I'm going to do. Let's see. Since the Israel-Gaza war started... There's been a fear the conflict could spread. And that's happening. Across the Middle East, we're seeing airstrikes, bombings, assassinations, and border raids. The most high profile escalation involves Houthi rebels in Yemen attacking shipping in the Red Sea, they say in solidarity with Palestinians. In response, the US and the UK have attacked Houthi positions, most recently with US strikes on Wednesday night. And the day before America began attacking the Houthis, the US Secretary of State said this we were focused uh, on making sure that the conflict uh, ongoing on gaza doesn't spread uh, to other places that's been our focus since uh, since october 7th uh, and it remains our focus uh, today but as america's own actions show stopping the spread is proving difficult as the new york times puts it the regional war no one wanted is here and it asks how wide will it get because already, along with the Israel-Gaza war and the exchanges in the Red Sea and Yemen, there have been other incidents in Iran, Syria, Iraq and Lebanon. And all of these different escalations connect both to the Israel-Gaza war... Wow! <laughs> well, anyway guys, that's enough for me. Mainstream media here, but Blackman the Traveller is going to be reporting something very interesting. Anyway, guys, vamos. Let's see what happens in the Middle East. Is Batman the Traveller going to survive? Who knows? Was Batman the Traveller probably going to get kidnapped by some random Arabs and probably sow his organs? I hope not. But, um, yeah. Hopefully this adventure is going to be one of the best adventures I've ever, ever put out there on YouTube. So, guys, join me in the Middle East, a region that people think it's dangerous to go. But anyway, I think Iraq's gone modern. There's a lot of people that go to Iraq because obviously um, Iraq has changed. Baghdad has started to become more mainstream. So I think that country might be the only country in the Middle East. And maybe Lebanon that might be more relaxed. But I know Somalia is not part of the Middle East. People keep saying, hold on a minute, you mentioned Somalia, but I am going to go to Somalia because um, it's also classified as one of the most dangerous countries to go in the world. But anyway, guys, um, Things happen for a reason. 
and I hope that the content I'm about to put out is going to change people's perspectives in terms of traveling to the Middle East. Uh, countries in the Middle East that are labeled as dangerous and terrorists. But anyway, that's enough for me dribbling around. I need to sort out my hair. See you soon in the Middle East. Vamos.